Hey everybody, Star Six Wars One here, and I am now doing a tag video after being tagged by the Black Critic guy to do a Secret Life of a YouTuber tags. Now for this one, I'll be answering twelve questions that have been asked about YouTube stuff in general, and I'll answer them to the best of my abilities as usual, kind of like my Q and A videos. So let's go. So let's start. First up, how long have I been on YouTube? I originally joined YouTube on no, February 1st, 2011. So I've actually been on YouTube for quite a long time. However, I did not make my first video until August 15th, 2012. An entire year and almost a half later. So, yeah, it's been quite a journey since then. And I think I've improved a little bit over the time period, but who knows. Second question is, at what point do you think you will stop? I assume it's when you will stop doing YouTube videos and things. Unless life gets in the way, like, personally, health issues, personal issues or work, I don't plan to stop any time soon. I'm having a ball being on YouTube, and quite frankly, I don't want to stop any time soon. So I don't usually think about that question. Um, question three is, what is the best thing about being on YouTube? I think the interactions with um, other YouTubers making the videos themselves, a little bit of quite a few of the things. These, Those two are the ones I like the most. I love reading the comments I get in my videos, whether they be positive criticism that something might need to be improved, or anything. I just really love just the interactions I have on YouTube and everything that's come from it. Heck, I've made two good friends with the Otaku Squad members, did a collab review with the Black Critic guy and one of my Otaku Squad fellow members, the real Black Otaku, aka Dante. And honestly, I just really love being on YouTube, making videos, and, and talking with my subscribers slash the people who watch me. I quite enjoy it myself. For question four, however, is the reverse of that. The worst thing about being on YouTube. The trolls and the comments that just seem hateful. For the sake of being hateful. These are two things I really don't like about YouTube. Admittedly, though, from what I've seen on other sites and other forum sites... YouTube is one of the better ones for this. Believe me, I've seen a lot worse. But those things kind of bug me quite a bit. Also, how constantly YouTube changes its stupid, stupid things. Just don't like it at all. Um, For question five, we have, how many thumbnail options do you usually take? Usually YouTube will give you three options with thumbnails. Usually, about 90% of the time, I will use one of the options they give me. Unless it really doesn't fit the video, or I'll, in which case I'll just find a picture that I have stored on my computer. And just use that instead. So, I don't have very much creativity and don't have my own personal thumbnails I ever use. So... Yeah, you, you can't help that. Question six. YouTube crush. I will be very honest, this is one of the first times I have ever heard that sentence being used. The reasoning for this is I'm not that accustomed to most people. I don't personally have a YouTube crush. Not yet, or not that I'm aware of anyway. Don't know why, just... I don't. Sorry. 
Um, for the seventh question is, who is on your collab list? Ooh, a fun question. Um, I've already done two collabs with one with the Black Critic Guy and one with the Real Black Otaku. Um, I w hope to do more collabs with them in the future. But there are a few others I wouldn't mind doing collabs with. One, Ninja Mushi Reviews. Because I haven't done one with him yet. And even though we're on the Otaku Squad together and technically doing something collab related, I wouldn't mind just doing a solo collab. So there's that first one. The next ones, however, are a bit more debatable due to personal lives or stuff like that, but I'll mention them anyways. One would be HS Media Nerd. I've wanted to do a collab with her for some time because I find she is a very good YouTuber and we do have similar opinions on quite a few things, even if we do differ sometimes on opinions. Though, I'm not sure how we would be able to do it because of conflicting schedules, but if she's ever wanting of the opportunity, I'm more than open for a collab. Another one is Inu Conan Doyle. I think you've probably seen him on some of my videos and my live chats before. I wouldn't mind doing a collab with him at some point. And that's all I need to say about that one. The final collab one at the moment I want to do is a much more far-fetched one. And one that may or may not happen, probably not, but if he's ever interested, Shadow ACS. Because I think it would be a very interesting um, collab review to do with him at some point. I don't know what it would be, I don't know if I ever will, but if he's ever interested and he somehow sees this video, um, I would hope to do one, personally. For me, I wouldn't mind doing other collabs maybe in the future with other people once I meet more of them and get to know more of them. But for now, that's my list. Um, question eight is, what are you wearing on the bottom, on your bottom half? I am wearing black jeans. Um, and to prove that fact, sorry, um, yes, I'm wearing black jeans. I'm usually wearing something else aside from a shirt, whether it be random or not. Um, question number nine is, how long till you click, how long till you click record? I usually think up what I want to say, or at least what I might say, and then hit record. This could take anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes. However, I always do a test recording beforehand, just to make sure my voice sounds okay. Though that doesn't always work, at least I try. The next question would be, how do you feel about the YouTube community slash culture? Um, YouTube's community, I gotta be honest, is in... Like I said back in the best things question, I like the YouTube community for the most part. True, you'll get your trolls and your haters, but quite frankly, I really like the YouTube community. I think for the most part, they will be respectful of you, though there are exceptions, of course. But I really enjoy the YouTube's community and would quite enjoy it and just quite enjoy it. And I'll be honest, I think it's better than most other communities in the net. I'm looking at you, Mal. No offense, I'm not... I've heard very few people say the Mal forums are good. And I'm while well, I've not looked at them personally, yeah, I've heard some horror stories about it. So yeah, not a big fan of Mal's. Even the, site, the anime site forums that can be a part of sometimes, Hummingbirds... I sometimes have very questionable um, thoughts on the forums there. I like them sometimes, but then there are other ones where I'm like, ugh. No offense to Hummingbird, I like them, but eh. And I got sidetracked, sorry. But 
it brings it to the point, I like the YouTube's community. All I need to say about that. The next question is, what's your secret to a successful you channel? The only two things I can suggest, because I don't find my channel all that successful, is... I think, one, have fun. Like, if you're not doing these videos for fun, if you're doing them for a job, I can understand. If you're doing it just to make your opinions known, that's fine. But I think the most important part of having a YouTube channel is for the fun of it. Why do you think I don't have the most consistent... See, with my videos being sometimes I'll upload one video a day or four videos a day. It's because I love making them that much that I can't help it. I just love YouTube, making YouTube videos, and I think that's one of the best things to have. Also, be yourself. I know people have said this like hundreds of thousands of times, but it's very true. If you're not yourself, I don't think you'll have the greatest successful YouTube channel because it won't be true to yourself. To me, the best YouTube channels have heart to them because they're yourself and you're enjoying making them. That's how I view it, at least. And that's why I've subscribed to several people. And that's why when I subscribe to people, it's because of that. Because I enjoy their channels and I know they're having fun with it. So, yeah, I just love... The whole thing about that and honestly that's all the advice I can really give you since my channel is not as as successful as others but if it was those are the two advices I would give final question is who do you tag I could be a jerk and just say I tag these certain people and I will be for two people ninja ninja mushi reviews and the real black otaku. Yes, I'm recruiting my fellow otaku squad members again. However, if you want to make your own tag, feel free. I would nominate everyone, but I know not everyone can do it. So I'd say if I had to nominate anybody, it'd be those people. Well, those two and anyone else who wants to do them. Anyways, that's all from me. This has been Star Six Wars 1. And I'll see you guys next time.